clinically, chronic myeloid leukemia may be asymptomatic. In 50% of the cases and discovered accidentally, may present with abdominal pain due to large spleen, splenomegaly, present by hypermetabolism due to malignancy and increase in the cell turnover, leukocytosis. Market increase in the leukocyte count may lead to cachexia, weight loss, cachexia, night sweets, anorexia, high, mimic hyperthyroidism, fatigability. All of these symptoms are hypermetabolism due to increased cell turnover. Hyperviscosity features. Hyperviscosity due to very high total white blood cells from 50 to 500,000 per microliter hyperleukocytose. You know the normal TLC? Four to ten thousands per microliters. Hyperviscosity features headache, dizziness, visual disturbance due to hyperleukocytosis, hyperviscosity impaired in the microcirculation in the capillaries. Bone marrow failure is a late feature. Late feature. Anemia, bleeding due to platelet dysfunction. Here, there is failure of production of normal platelet with normal function. So, we have thrombocytosis, increase in the platelet count. You know the normal platelet count is 150 to 400 thousands per microliters. But here in chronic myeloid leukemia, you can see a lot of platelets and the peripheral blood may reach to million per microliters. Gout, due to increase in uric acid, hyperuricemia, leading to joint pain and uric acid in urine can lead to renal failure or renal impairment. Articaria or allergy due to increased in the pedophil with increased release of histamine and other mediators. Splenomegaly, gout, pain in the joints. The clinical presentation of the chronic myeloid leukemia, high white blood cell count. Hyperleukocytosis, most of the patient are discovered incidentally from routine CBC. Complaining from hypermetabolism, as we mentioned, weight loss, night sweets, anorexia, mimic hyperthyroidism, visual disturbance due to viscosity, hyperviscosity. Articaria due to release of the histamine, gout, and renal impairment due to release of uric acid from the increased cells. Anemia, huge spleen, bleeding tendency, and in spite of thrombocytosis. Increase in platelet count, but the problem in the function, platelet dysfunction. So, leukocytosis with a splenomegaly with these symptoms and signs can lead to the diagnosis of the chronic myeloid leukemia.